Mike Sandoval here with Muse, and we are here with Eddie Solis of It's Casual at Phoenix 5-4 in Whittier. How's everything going? Everything is great. Thanks for having me. Uh, excited about the upcoming show. Nice, nice. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the show. You're going to be playing here at the end of the month. T tell us a little bit about it. Well, on Saturday, May 31st, there's going to be uh, something that I created and installed called uh, Green on Greenleaf. And what that is, is it's a platform for me to spread and send my message of, you know, an eco-friendly, car-free lifestyle. And uh, what's going to happen is, on that day, I'm going to uh, have some reinforcement from local businesses in Whittier, Uptown Whittier to be uh, exact. And my band, It's Casual, will be performing here at Phoenix 5-4. It's a free show, 21 and over, on Saturday, May 31st. And so simultaneously, up the street, um, 6740, a bar uh, up here on Greenleaf Avenue, is going to be um, facilitating my photography show that I've been working on for a decade. And it's basically, you know, all the the puzzle pieces between my songs I've written about being car free and connecting with the city. Mm -hmm. And it's all this great imagery, um, over a thousand photos. Uh, we'll probably be showing about a hundred of them. And um, they've all been taken through, you know, taken from the bus or subway. And so the photography installation is called Through the Eyes of a Bus Rider. Yeah. And in addition to that, um, we're going to have um, a veggie sandwich that is inspired by my commute from LA to Whittier, but built by Mike Katchoff, who's the owner of 6740, and it's called the Line 10, because from East Los Angeles to Whittier, it's required to take the Line 10 to get here. So the car-free message, the eco-friendly uh, lifestyle, going green, it's gonna be presented, and it's gonna be advocated through my music, through my food, and through my photography that night. Nice, nice. Uh, you're also playing in Fullerton as well with uh, one of the legendary skaters of pretty much all time, Tony Alva. How does how's that? How did that all happen? How did that get all set up? That's really cool. Yeah, um, it's going to be Wednesday, May 28th. Mm -hmm. um, it's Casual's going to be doing a headlining show in Orange County. It's been a while since we played there, um, and we're going to be doing um, the new Los Angeles one and two in its entirety there at the show. Um, we haven't done that set yet there, so I'm excited about it. Um, the first time we played that set was when we played the Troubadour of this year, January 4th. Um, so we're going to be doing the same set and in Whittier and in um, Fullerton. But to go off your question here, um, the way that came to be is, you know, It's Casual's been um, four records deep and a decade old uh, for, um, you know, you know, as far as, as a band running um, on wheels. And uh, Tony is in another band called GFP. And uh, GFP has shared the stage with its casual, and through that, many times we've developed a good relationship. And so um, Tony's had a lot of fun coming on my radio show, and we've stood in contact and collaborated on ideas. And so he's going to be doing um, a show with his band called His Eyes Have Fangs, and they're going to be direct support for its casual at that show. Um, also playing as a band called Punk Rock Vatos, which is um, consists of a guy named uh, Jamie Pina, um, or Jaime Pina, he's from a group called the Chemical People, which were part of the whole SST Cruise Records yeah. family back in the 80s mm -hmm. and 90s. Uh, so I'm excited to have him on the bill. And Tony, you know, whenever Tony is on stage, you know, I mean, skateboarding is such a huge part of my life. And to see someone who has facilitated all that kind of subculture and has embodied it and created it and has, like, set the standard for you know, uh, lifestyle, skateboarding, surfing, fashion, that comes along with the skateboarding. You know, he's a pioneer, you know, um, I think not just a skateboarding pioneer, but an LA pioneer, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and a lot of other places look to LA for trends and lifestyles. And if, even if people don't surf and skate, they dress like they do. Yeah. And all that goes back to Alva and having style, mm -hmm. and it all goes back to him being from LA. So for me, you know, anything having to do with Tony Alva, it, it just excites me because I love what he stands for. Uh, I love where he's at in his life right now. Uh, he's been a guest on my radio show, and he's just really um, in this great mindset where it's just about moving forward and progressing, and um, he, he, he truly stands, stands up for his beliefs and 
his beliefs are hard work and positivity, you know? Nice, nice. Uh, so, we went to AOC. We're coming back over here now. Yeah. What is it like to play here? I mean, you grew up in Whittier. So, yeah. what is it like to come back here and you're playing at your hometown? It's exciting. I mean, you know, the, um, the fact of the matter is, you know, It's Casual was established in 2002. Mm -hmm. um, there's four full-length records out, two singles, you know, and we got, a, you know, great music videos out there that have been done by guys like Robert Schober, who has been under the directorial name Robo Shobo, and he's worked with It's Casual, Metallica, Green Day, Strokes, Killers, you know, and, of course, the Redline video directed by Rick Kosick. Um, we played here once before, and it was really cool because, you know, the way I look at it is this. You know, It's Casual's a touring band. You know, when we play in SoCal, it's either usually, you know, Long Beach or Orange County, mm -hmm. and it's... It's L.A., downtown, and Hollywood. But when I come to Whittier, it truly is a hometown show because a lot of my old childhood friends mm -hmm. and family still reside here. And maybe all of them are on a different schedule and can't make it out, you know, to Hollywood on a weeknight for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, there's traffic, there's, there's real life involved, and not everyone yeah. can get out there. So as far as... Um, as far as coming here and doing it on a Saturday, it's like I'm coming to play for my people. You know what I mean? And it's, um, it's refreshing, and it's like it's nothing but a big, friendly festival. It's going to be nothing but friends and family and real old friends, you know? And it's going to be um, a really nice reunion of, uh, you know, people I grew up with. And I'm excited to, uh, you know, them, them to see all my uh, f photography from the last decade up the street and to see my live set here and, you know, just hang out and, and connect. Nice, nice. It's such a rarity that you're able to do for this one night. You're doing so much in just that one night and it's pretty much revolves around you. That one night it in does. Whittier. So it's kind of, it's, kind of a, it's a different scenario, but uh, so what's, what was it about? I mean, you could have done it anywhere. Let's put it that way. You could have done the photo set, everything else. What was it about Whittier to do it here? You know, to, to just leave off or start where you left off, um, the first part of your question, you know, saying it's about me. It is. Uh, but I think it's more, uh, to, to be completely honest and transparent, it's definitely about me, but it's more about my lifestyle mm -hmm. because I choose to be car free. Yeah. Uh, as you know, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, if, if um, anybody puts me under a microscope, they could definitely see that this is how I choose to live in Southern California yeah. and Los Angeles. Which and is not easy to do. No. I mean, it isn't like New York or yeah. Boston where you yeah. have that ability. And especially when you get out into the east side, mm -hmm. into Montebello, Pico Rivera, Whittier, La Habra, the public transportation system isn't as slick and streamlined like mm -hmm. East LA, Paul Heights, downtown, little Tokyo, Hollywood, mm -hmm. etc. Right. But, um, you know, I think it's more about my lifestyle and I'm very uh, comfortable in my skin uh, after doing it for so long. Yeah. You know, I keep saying, you know, it's casual, you know, established mm -hmm. 2002 with four full lengths and two singles. That is, to me, that is definitely um, a statement mm -hmm. because a lot of bands, whether they're signed to an independent or a major, they don't get that far. Right. You know, we both know a lot of bands that have been on majors that lasted a record or two records and they're nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. You know, and the members are doing it all over again. Yeah. Okay, I mean, that's just the way it is in this industry. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's been, you know, it's definitely been um, a commitment that I signed up for and have uh, decided to put work into because it's my art, it's my lyrics, music, and lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And so, I think it's you know more about the lifestyle, but it's coming from me. But I, I decided like, hey, look, you know, I, I write music and lyrics and about my lifestyle, being car free. I take photos about being car free, and I'm I got local businesses excited and inspired because maybe they've been on my radio show and and they understand where I'm coming from about being car free. So like Mike over at 6740, he's um, definitely supportive, and he was like all about helping me uh, create a food item that's going to be available that night. So when my friends and supporters come see the band and go see the photography, they could order the Line 10 burger. Or, I'm sorry, it's not a burger, it's a sandwich that's available there. And it's going to be, it's inspired by my commute from East Los Angeles to Whittier. And to do so, you got to take the Line 10. So we decided to call it that, but Mike built it. He, he designed the sandwich. It's inspired by my commute. 
And so I decided to do it in a Whittier because my logic was this. Okay, I believe that Whittier, it's safe to say Whittier is in the mecca of SoCal. Mm -hmm. It's about 20 minutes from downtown, 20 minutes from Orange County, 20 minutes from Long Beach, 20 minutes from Covina. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, you know what? Instead of making this one-sided in LA, let's put it, let's think, let's be considerate. Let's mm -hmm. think more about, you know, um, all of SoCal. Let's put it in the middle. And I said, well, you know what? Whittier's my hometown. Um, <clears throat> you know, we're due to play a show here, so let's book a show here. And I just started building off that idea. Mm -hmm. And what's happened is, and fully transpired is, the, you know, Green on Greenleaf mm -hmm. event, which is, <clears throat> you know, it's definitely um, all things Eddie Solis, right. but it's more about my lifestyle and how I advocate my lifestyle. It's about, you know, here's different messages or, or one message through different components mm -hmm. food photography and music yeah. cool well definitely look forward to seeing that uh, what day is it again uh, it's going to be Saturday May 31st 2014 it's casual at Phoenix 54 uh, free show and we're definitely um, going to be playing a long set we're going to be doing the new LA one and two uh, in its entirety we'll probably be doing a few other tracks from the other two albums, if people call them out. And um, simultaneously, there's going to be the Through the Eyes of a Bus Rider photography show facilitated by 6740 up on Greenleaf. And it's going to be projected from 6740 onto the building across from them on Greenleaf Avenue. So people don't have to walk in, but they could see it on Greenleaf. So that's going to take place. And grab yourself a Lion 10 sandwich from 6740. Nice, nice. Well, thank you very much for stopping with us. Really appreciate it. Always love having you here. Thank you, Michael. And don't, don't forget, May 31st, come down to Whittier, Greenleaf. It's on the corner of Greenleaf and Philadelphia, Phoenix where you can find Phoenix 54 as well as 6740, which is only about a couple stores up from where we're at right now. And we'll see you there.